up. So this video is going to be another unedited update video because I am beyond exhausted. Like, I don't think I've had a day this week or not even like this week, like these past seven days that I haven't sat in this chair, tried to do, tried to do homework and like fallen asleep because I was so tired. It's like not, it's not a game anymore. Like I'm kind of dying, but a lot of fun things have happened. Uh, since the last time that I have done one of these videos, so we are doing another one. So like ignore all the bad lighting I don't care that much. I know my face looks so shiny, but like We're just gonna move past that. Okay. Okay, so I don't remember what the last thing I talked about when I made one of these videos was but um, There's a lot of pressing issues happening right now in my life. So we're gonna discuss them real quick. So um, on the lightest note, swim season's ending. Uh, I have two more practices and then the season's over, which is kind of sad because I'm like, uh, it, we'll get into it later in this video, but this is probably my last season, which is kind of sucky because I thought I was going to make it all four years, but I didn't because things are happening. But, uh, I really love the team and I'm going to miss them. It's going to really suck, but like... No one's coming to practice anyways, so like, am I really that sad? If they really cared, they would be at practice, you know? So, it's fine. Um, I just learned how to do butterfly today. That was a wonderful moment, because, like, my coaches, like, I have technically three coaches. Like, officially two coaches, but I have technically three coaches. And my main two coaches never really taught me how to do butterfly. They were just like, you just need to do it, and then you'll figure out how to do it. I'm like, that's not how things work. I'm a very instruction follow person. You know, you have to tell me exactly what I need to do for me to do it. So today I was just trying to, you know, work on my butterfly, try to figure out what is the key, the magic of getting your arms up and over and not dragging through the water. And then my third coach saw me doing that. I was like, you're not doing this right at all. Do you know what you're doing? And I was like, no, not at all. And then he told me and now it's so much easier. Like, it was crazy, it was wild, I'm so happy because now I can kind of sort of do butterfly, which is all I've ever wanted to do. They, they keep trying to teach me breaststroke and I just keep trying to tell them that I'm not gonna do it because my whip kick is awful, my feet don't bend far enough. Like with whip kick, oh, I don't know if I can show it with my arms, but like you have your legs, they're usually like, you know, like this, so that you can kick, you know? Your feet need to be like pointed, but like for whip kick, you need your feet to be bent. <laughs> And like, this is basically as far as my feet can move and you need like your feet to like go like this to be like really far back so that when you're pushing down on the water it like pushes you forward. My feet don't bend far enough for like me to do a good whip kick. So I can't do breaststroke that well, slash at all. So I don't like want to do breaststroke. There's plenty of people on the team that can do breaststroke. What I want to do is butterfly. So I'm finally learning butterfly like three days before the end of the season, but it's all good. It's wonderful. I am I'm doing it. It's fun. And yesterday we played water polo, not like official water polo. We had no rules. Like people were very much going to drown if we didn't stop it when we did, because there were like, it was a wild time, but I scored two goals for my team and that's what matters. So happy about that. Um, it's really cold, as you can see from my hoodie, and I have I have a blanket with me because it's just so cold. Because the place that I live doesn't really have like an autumn weather; it seriously just goes from summer to winter. So it's like freezing right now. So that's really fun. But um, school is kind of the worst. It's not the worst because I said that about like my school last year, and that school was the worst. It, it's like better, but it's just it's still kind of awful. Um, all of my classes kind of suck. Uh, I have so much homework and it's all so confusing. It doesn't make any sense. Um, like my history class, we're talking about the midterm elections that just happened. And he's like asking us questions that are like, that we seriously don't know the answers to. He's like wanting to know the demographic of like the voters. And I'm like, that information has not come out. And this assignment's due like on Friday. And I'm like, the elections were on Tuesday. We're not going to have this kind of data by Friday, buddy. What you doing? So hoping for the best for that. And we just took a test and knock on wood, please universe give me an A. I won an A on that quiz so bad because it was so painfully easy 
And I know that if I got like a single question wrong, I'll be so angry with myself because it was like a really easy quiz and it was based all on knowledge that I like know because this was the one in which we talked about like the like the 1770s around like the American Revolution to like the early like 1820s and that is the only period of American history that I know because of Hamilton. So like if I don't get an A on this, basically my whole life is a lie and all of these years of academy training will be for naught and I will be so angry because it's literally all I know. If I don't know this, then I literally will fail this class. So that, that's fun. That's so fun. That's so fun. Um, we uh, just finished a group presentation, a group project for my theater class on Tuesday. That was kind of awful because our presentation was awful because our group really had no idea what they were doing. But um, we also needed to write a paper on top of this presentation because this class is kind of crazy. It's a 101 class, so it should be easy, but it's really not. Um, but I wrote the essay the night before and then I turned it in and my teacher was like, you did a really good job. And I was like, we love lying. So really feeling good about that. Really hoping that I did go to the presentation, get those nice points, but it doesn't really matter because I have like a hundred percent of that class. So if I don't get an A for some reason, it really doesn't matter. But that's fun. And I have um, another presentation next Tuesday because there now these are individual presentations and I being the crazy idiot that I am signed up for the very first slot on the very first day. And the paper is due two days before the presentation. So I need to have it done by Saturday. I haven't started it at all. So that's gonna be fun. Um, yeah, and it's like a 10 minute presentation. This is no joke. Like you have to like present. So everyone wish me luck on that. That's gonna be fun. Um, and my English class, we're learning about like actual technical grammar skills because I never really learned that. I have now been taught that you cannot write the way you speak, which is really weird because I've always just written words the way that I would like read them aloud. So whenever I would take a break in the sentence, that's where I would put, you know, like a comma or something to be like, this is where you stop and pause in your reading for the tone and like the style of your writing. But apparently some of those things aren't grammatically correct. Apparently like they're fragments and comma splices and Sam, you need to use a semicolon or whatever. And it's stupid. <laughs> but I like learning because these are things I've never known before. Like there's actual like rules and technical aspects, but there's so many things that I'm learning. It's such a short amount of time. I literally have like five weeks left in this quarter. So I need to like understand this shit and it's so confusing because uh, I just, I, you gotta know independent clauses, dependent clauses, subordinated conjunctions, coordinated conjunctions, adverbial conjunctions, relative clauses, and all this shit that we learned in like two days and you just need to know them. And I'm just like, but there's so many rules. <laughs> there's so many rules. English is like the worst language. I really wish I didn't know English. <laughs> like, I understand that it's a very important language to learn because basically all the world is speaking English and all like the big countries have like English as the main language. So you basically need to know English because all the white people are like, ah, you better speak English otherwise we will be mean to you because we are mean people. So that's fun. So I basically have to know English, but English is literally such a stupid language. Like I wish I knew like a different language that made more sense because you know, languages they should have rules but English has no rules and everything's pronounced differently and spelling oh don't even get me started on spelling like you can't eat like there's different variations of English spelling based on where you live and that's so dumb and apparently in this stupid country if you spell it in a like a different country format it's wrong even though it's the same language it makes me so angry I hate it a lot so I'm not having the funnest time. I have an essay due, so kind of freaking out about that, but we're learning and we're getting through it and we're just hoping for the best. I, there's this girl that I have in my history class, which I have before my English class, and we talk about the things in English so that we can help each other. And she's been great and helpful because I just don't understand things. I don't understand commas. I don't understand why you can't just use commas wherever. They're like, it's not academic. And I'm like, yeah, but you just had us read like 
three different articles about voice and tone and about how different people have like different tones and styles in which they write and I'm like why can't this be my style why can't I just use unnecessary commas why and it makes me so angry because I just want to use all the commas but apparently that's not correct so I'm like yeah I hate it so much this is really fun pulling on these strings this video is really long and I'm not even halfway done so this is fun but um big update I'm trying to build up to things is there anything else I want to talk to you before I get to my big update I don't think so oh I watched Venom that movie's great <laughs> everyone who says that movie's bad like y'all just need to stop I, I think the reason that I like it so much is because it's like 100% a movie that would have thrived in the early 2000s. Like, you know Fantastic Four, the, the one with Chris Evans? That one's like my, that one was my favorite superhero movie for like ever. Because I think that was the only superhero movie I watched before I watched Deadpool. Because I'm not a person who like watches superhero movies. But I watched that when I was like six or seven. I don't know, when I was a youngin. When I was a young child, I watched that movie and it was like so good. But like in like the general aspect of like movies and compared to like superhero movies now that I really haven't seen except for Deadpool, it's probably not the best movie. But like Venom is just like Fantastic Four. It's crazy. It's so weird and I love it. It like literally, it's not that it makes no sense. People say like, there's something wrong with the pacing. I have no idea what you're talking about. I was thoroughly entertained throughout the whole movie. Like the first 20 minutes when Eddie is just like being with his fiance, that was boring. But once he joins with Venom, then the movie kicks off and it gets so good. Like I truly really enjoyed that movie. It was so fun. It was so fun. I loved it a lot. It was a wild, wild time. Like, I get now that people have, like, Marvel movies where there's, like, real plot and they're, like, real people. But, like, superheroes aren't real people. So if you can't have fun with them and just make it, like, a fucking wild-ass movie like Venom was, then what's the point? Venom deserves a sequel. That's all I have to say. It should not, though, be um, Venom and Eddie trying to get back with Andy because that's fucking stupid, okay? It should be Venom thinking that Annie is a threat to his relationship with Eddie and being, like, you know, conjoined and Eddie having to choose between Venom and Annie and therefore choosing Venom. That should be the second movie. Okay, Sony, take those notes, make the movie. If Secret Life of Pets can get a sequel, then Venom can get a sequel. Cause I just watched an ad for Secret Life of Pets and I'm like, how did that movie do well enough for a sequel? I watched it for free at VidCon like two years ago and I heard nothing about it after that. Like, who watched that movie for them to be like, yes, we should make a sequel of this. Like. Does Illumination really have nothing? Have they really beaten the Minions franchise to death enough that they have to go make a sequel to A Secret Life of Pets? Have they really stooped that low? Come on. It shouldn't be that hard to make a good movie. Don't they have trolls? Go get like Anna Kendrick and uh, Justin Timberlake back. We love trolls. I've heard that there's also a sequel coming out to Trolls though. And it has one of the actors from Hamilton. I don't remember which one. It was one, it's one of the main, it's one of the main ones from the original cast, but I don't know. I've gone on such a tangent. Um, I don't think there's anything else I just talked about. If there is, I'll, I'll say it after my big announcement, but it's not a hundred percent set in stone. So knock on wood because my counselor hasn't gotten back to me, even though she said she would get back to me yesterday and she fucking did it cause she's a liar. Um, oh, before we even get into this, we keep going on all these detours, okay? It's fine. We're taking the nice scenic route through the story. I don't believe that my counselor is like a real counselor. I feel like she's one of those narcs that they put in schools in order to sniff out which kids are selling drugs. <laughs> and I have a good reason to say this because all teachers and all like staff at my school have like these little um, like get to know me sheets or something on their office doors to say like which college they went to, what did they study, what do what did they like about college, their favorite memories, blah 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 blah. And this girl, she is so young by the way, she literally looks like she just stepped out of school and was given this job. Like she's so crazy young. Like the average age of teachers at my school are maybe like late 30s to mid 40s. Like they're adults. This child does not look at does not even look 30 years old. She's so young. She's like crazy young. Um, but her thing on the on her office door, so she went to like San Diego University or wherever, the University of San Diego. 
and her she majored. Remember, she is a school counselor for academics. She majored in criminal justice. Now, if you just think about that for a second, how did someone who majored in criminal justice end up as a school counselor? I like I don't I have no idea how she got here other than oh she is a cop that they put here to figure out which kids are selling drugs like I don't know why else she would be here and she's not that good at her job like it's probably because she is so new she just was like hired this year but also like I don't trust her <laughs> and she's also really bad at getting back to me in the emails I keep emailing her the things that she wants to know and she doesn't get back to me in time and I'm like Sweetie, I have things I need to do. But, <laughs> knock on wood, I've emailed her. She hasn't gotten back to me, but hopefully all goes well. And I should be graduating this year, which is kind of fucking amazing because I was supposed to graduate next year. But because of all the crazy work I've been doing, you've seen these videos, how I'm busy all the time. It's finally paying off. I have shortened these two years I'm supposed to take it into one. Cause if I take all these classes and do well in them, like I, like I usually do, then I can graduate this year instead of having to take a whole extra year to get all these classes done, which would be amazing. I would be so happy if I could graduate this year because I'm just so done with school. Like I really hit that, I really hit that um, that point at which I'm just, I'm done. I'm done. I've been doing all of this work for so long. Like, I don't have a life that exists outside of school. Like, I've been going to school, I've done the math, for like 95% of my life I have been in school. Like, I don't have a life outside of school because my life is school. And that's like not okay. I don't want to live that way. So, um, we're gonna change that. And we're graduating this year, which is great. Um, that's, it, it's such good news to me. Also, like, if I did another year, I would have to pay for all those classes. And, like, why would I want to pay for a year that I don't have to take? So, that would be great if all goes well. Because the reason I say I don't know if it's, like, 100% certain is because no one's apparently ever tried to do this before. Apparently, I'm the first person ever at this school to try to graduate a year early, which is kind of crazy. Or at least in, like, the staff's recent knowledge. Because um, there's, m like, many school counselors, but my counselor has been working there for, like, I said, a year. But the most experienced counselor who's been there, I don't know how long he's been there, but he's been there a while, has never had this happen. So, uh, I'm kind of a, a, a trailblazer. Kind of amazing. Sorry. Um... <laughs> But we're going to see if it will happen. They say that it should, but they're asking the district because we don't know. But I, I don't see why I can't if I meet all my graduation requirements, you know? So hoping for the best, hoping for the best. If I could graduate, that would be amazing because I don't want to do this anymore. But yeah, that's my big news that I've been stressing about right now. Oh, I do have more things to talk about. Um... Remember last year around this time when I had that big crazy uh, audition? It's back. It, round two. Here to knock me the fuck out. And um, I feel more prepared this time because I've been through that one year and I went through that awful experience and now I know what to expect. And now I'm more like assured in my skills because I've been singing a lot more over the years trying to like grow my voice and my voice is very much better I can hit a lot more notes than I could before so I feel better about this audition but now last year I was auditioning for like not not like a show show like all the shows were written by um by like people my age because it's like like a youth run show not like a youth I am a youth but I'm like not like a child I don't know how to describe it. It's run by young children. <laughs> That's even worse. Not young children. It's not run by professionals. There we go. Amateurs. It's run by amateurs. So, um, it was all like written by like, um, uh, by new young playwrights. Uh, so there wasn't like a lot of pressure per se to make this amazing show even though they do hold you to like a professional level in this program but uh now we're doing uh west side story <laughs> and that's a very established show 
and that dancing's kind of crazy, and I can't dance. So, <laughs> like, I can't, I can't, it's not that I can't, I can't dance, it's just I am not the best dancer. So we're hoping for the best. But they're doing, this program's doing five days of dance training in order to prepare you for the audition. So that's going to be super fun. I have signed up for that because I know that I need it. And I know that there's going to be kids there that are already good dancers that are just going to go there to make everyone else feel bad. And I'm going to hate them because they're already going to be so good. They're going to be like, ah, I have five years of tap, ballet, and jazz training. But I was just here because, you know, for the experience. And I'm going to want to stab them because I'm like, there's people like me that actually can't dance, sweetie. Okay, Heather. Okay, Jacob. Okay, Mark. Back the fuck up. I would be so angry. I know it. I could feel it already happening. So that's going to be uber fun. I'm going to love that. But we're just, I, I feel like I have a higher chance of getting into this one because, you know, West Side Story is about um, people from Puerto Rico and I am not Puerto Rican, but I am Latinx and that's what matters, <laughs> you know, because the program's a lot of white kids because, you know, theater is just a bunch of white kids. <laughs> so... I feel like they're gonna take all the diversity that they, can, that they can get, especially when, you know, you're as close to Puerto Rican as possible. So that would be great if they could cast me just to fill that diversity quota, I will take it. Um, yeah, and I've also been auditioning for like film things. Um, not a lot of them, but things that I feel like I have a greater than 0.5% chance of getting. So like, the chance is there. Uh, if I were to get any of these, I would cry. I would make that very clear. Um, but if I don't, then life goes on and I will go to a new school next year. I know, I love how I just said I hate school because I do, I truly do. But like, I'm not done with school. I'm just graduating out of this school to go to a new school in which I have to pay more money. But like, if I don't pay for this last year, like this last year will be a bunch of classes that I have to pay for that wouldn't like count for nothing. So if I go to this new school, then like paying for those classes will actually count for something. That'll be fun. I don't know where I want to go for this new school because now I get to choose. Hopefully somewhere far away from here where nobody knows my name. That's a whole other video. But basically, I, I hate people knowing who I am. <laughs> that's really hard to explain. And this video is already so long. But basically, that's all that's been going on in my life. Um, I'm kind of stressing because uh, all my classes are kind of trying to kill me. Um, I'm trying to graduate a year early. And um, I have a crazy audition next month that I am one third prepared for, which is more than last time because I was like getting all those things prepared at once now I have one thing that I'm like I can trust that this is good so we're just hoping for the best okay okay uh, can y'all just hope for the best for me please thank you